everyone. Uh, my name is Chinwe Adani, and um, I will actually go ahead and share my screen. Um, and hopefully you can see the my screen, archive.stsci.edu. Yep, looks good. Awesome. Yes, so my name is Chinwe Adani, and I'm a software tester in, um, at Space Telescope Science Institute. Um, I work primarily in, uh, as testing the archive um, interfaces. And so MAST is the multi, um, Mikulski Archive for Space Telescope. We're a multi-mission um, archive, and this is our main website. So I'm actually going to start the presentation by uh, the presentation. The presentation is a, a walkthrough of one of our interfaces, but I actually want to start by showing you where you can get more data, uh, more information about all our interfaces. And so archive.stsci.edu is our main website. And um, you can, you know, browse information about our different missions. But this top um, portion is where is of interest to us today, which shows you how you can access mass data. Um, the portal is just one of the many interfaces that we have. Um, and so you know, we have APIs um, and uh, different interfaces that target different types of data, for instance, like ExoMast for ex exoplanet um, data. But what we'll be going um, over today is the mass portal in, in a few minutes. Uh, I also wanted to show, um, we have a YouTube channel that um, if you just search STSCI MAST, um, we've uploaded here some videos, uh, demos, um, and even uh, videos from last meeting, the last AAS meeting. Um, so, you know, there's a ExoMast walkthrough, for, I'm sorry, a ZMast walkthrough, for instance, and even ExoMast. Finally, I also want to show uh, if you go to the exhibit hall to our booth um, in the digital swags, uh, swag. Um, you can download this booklet that has a lot of information, all the information you could ever want about MAST and, you know, the type of data we, we store um, and, you know, information about all the different interfaces that we have. So this is a great resource. You can download a PDF that you can download um, and it, it has a lot more information. Okay, so portal. Um, so the, the webinar uh, today is about the portal. Um, like I said, we are a multi-mission archive. Um, and so the power of the portal is in its ability to uh, query across the, all the different uh, missions. Um, and so this is the main interface. Uh, it's at mast.stsci.edu. Um, and the default search is uh, the, the search uh, functionalities at the top here. Um, and so, you know, let's say I have a target that I'm interested in. You can also search RN deck. And actually, if you click, if I click this um, show examples, it gives you examples of different types of search, um, uh, different formats of the search that you can do. Um, so I'm just going to search for uh, the M3 target. Now this is searching our database that has metadata um, for all the different missions that we store in the archive. And so as you can see, M3, um, and hopefully, oh, let me zoom out. <laughs> I was, I was going to ask, hopefully this is big enough. And, <laughs> um, but you can see that M3 has been observed across uh, quite a few missions, um, including, you know, of course, HST um, and so on. And so the portal, you know, has these three um, sections. There's the filter section on the left, and then this middle set portion that um, shows the actual data, and this is where you can actually go ahead and download uh, the FITS files that we make available for this data. And then on the right, I'm just going to minimize this, on the right is um, AstroView. And so this is an all-sky view um, of the target that you've searched. And I'm just gonna, you can, you can uh, maximize that a little bit. Um, and, you know, these, these are footprints of the um, field of view 
for you know whatever uh, mission um, camera that observed that information. And so you can zoom in and zoom out in AstroView. So here I'm going to filter down and just to show sort of how this works, I'm going to filter uh, to, you know, maybe I'm only interested in the fuse data. So I'll filter down fuse and you can see that AstroView has also um, kind of filtered down to just the fuse um, footprints and then also just showing the fuse data in the middle here. Like I said, you can go ahead and just click this to click this uh, disk icon and to just download the FITS files. Um, so let's uh, maybe pick HST and let's say I'm interested in a couple of, of these, um, these, these uh, kind of map to observations, specific unique observations. So I'm gonna select those two and come up here and click add to download basket. And so here we've, um, so those are, these are those two rows that I selected. And we've selected the highest level calibration data. Um, so that's seen by this uh, selection here that says minimum recommended products. But if you actually want all the, all the data that we have, you can unselect that. And now you're seeing, you know, JPEG images, um, you know, different kinds of data that we've included um, that map back to that observation. And then, you know, whatever you're interested in, you click and hit download and download in, you know, different formats. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the basket. And so in, in addition to searching uh, specific targets, you might have other, there might be other uh, uh, properties of the information that you're looking for that you'd like to search. So for instance, let's say you want to search for your proposal and you just know, you know, your program. Um, and so I just clicked advanced search and this exposes different um, columns uh, in our database for you to search across. And so, you know, you can see the different kinds of information that we make available. You can search for a specific mission data. Um, these are just the default columns. You know, here on the left, there are a few more columns that haven't been selected by default. For instance, you can see there's a principal investigator, the PI here that's unchecked. So if I check that, that shows up here. Um, and here you can search for for uh, whoever you want. So <laughs> I'm gonna put my name, but I am not a scientist. I don't have any, but this is what you would do. You would put the name of um, whoever you're searching for. So let's say there's a program, a, spe a specific program that you wanna search for. So I have one here, um, put that in. It searched our multi-mission database and found 30 records. So I'm gonna hit search. And so now, I, we get the same view, right? So it's the same view, the 30 rows, um, that that was an HST program and AstroView navigated to the, the top row location. So that's what's showing in, in AstroView here. And again, you can download, add to basket uh, and so on. Um, I also wanted to show um, the ability to upload your own target list. Um, so at the top here, there's this button that says upload target lists. So if I click that, we give you a uh, help documentation, you know, how to format this list, but it's, you know, the one I'm gonna download is just like a very simple CSV uh, file. Um, so it just has seven rows, it's a RN deck. And I want to, you know, cross match this list against any, you know, either all our, all our observations or certain catalogs that we have. So for instance, say I wanna cross match it against the uh, tick, the test input catalog. There's a default radius, but you can, which you can adjust um, and then click cross match. So now this will, this, you know, it found 13 rows. So it basically cross matched that, that target list that I had against our uh, this catalog. 
And as you can see, as I perform different searches, it saves you know, the previous search. So you can go back to what you'd search in the past. Um, so something else I wanted to show is, you know, I had started by searching M3 against this, uh, the default search, but there are also a bunch of other kinds of searches you can do. Um, you can search, you know, these catalogs that we have directly. So I, I had cross-matched against tick, but I can actually come here and search tick directly. Um, we're also part of the virtual observatory. So, you know, I can kind of search across the different, our different partner observatories. Um, and these, the search for against the VO take, tends to take a little longer than, um, than the default search, but this allows you to, you know, get metadata about, you know, whatever targets you're interested in um, across all the participating um, organizations. So you can see here, it searched the VO. Um, I picked M3 because it has like not that many rows. Um, and here on, under publishers, you know, you can see all the different um, observatories that have information about this, that target. Um, and search that. So the last thing I wanted to show, and then uh, we can open it up for questions, is oh, the um, ability to subscribe to, um, actually, I'm going to reload the portal real quick, the ability to, to subscribe to different um, observations and get notified um, when there's a change. And so, um, here's the portal. So when you first go to the portal, you're actually an anonymous user, which is good. That's probably what most of us want. Um, and you can browse and all the, inf all the functionalities available to you, but there's an ability to log in to the portal. Um, and so you, this login button, you'd click that and, um, you log in with, a uh, institute provided a, uh, account, um, which you can create. It shows you how to do that. And for HST data, there's an ability to subscribe uh, to the data and so that when it's reprocessed or um, you know, maybe you're a PI or you have a collaborator and you want to get information about, or you want to be notified when that data is made available, that, that happens. So under here where it says subscriptions, um, you can see I already have some, but um, you can add a subscription and just walk through this, this uh, dialogue here that tells, you know, where you can say like, okay, yeah, I want to be notified by email um, for HST, JWST is coming soon. Um, actually, right now we have JWST planned proposals, so you can actually <laughs> subscribe to those. Um, and, you know, I'm going to subscribe to that uh, program that I had searched for earlier. So this says, and I only want to be notified when it's, re when it's reprocessed. Okay, so I click save. And so now when data connected to this program is processed, I'll be notified. And um, you can be notified by email or by on the portal itself. So this is, this is what um, the notification will look like. So, you know, as I've been navigating through the portal, you can see there's like a lot, a lot that the portal is capable of doing. And like I said, um, on our YouTube channel, I, there's an, uh, there are some videos showing, you know, maybe information about how to do cross match and different, you know, other different, um, things. So, uh, that's it. I'll open it up now for questions. Thank you so much for that. If anyone does have any questions, you can, they can insert it into the chat box or they can unmute themselves and ask out loud, just whatever you want to do. Um, I actually asked a question in the, what is that, Slack, yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know if this is... <laughs> Oh, no. We can't seem to hear you. Uh, yeah, it's frozen. Mm. 
Oops. I think okay. that's was... Yeah, I think she's gone. But we do have some questions in the chat box. Would you like to read them or would you like me to? Um, I can read them. Let's see. Are test like curves available on MAST? Yes. Um, let's see. So the probably, I think, you, I think it's come into the archive. Oh, sorry. Um, um, go into just archive.stsci.edu. And the tests page. Um, this gives you information on how to um, download the tests. Uh, here, we, here we go, the test information. So, yep, it's, it's available and you can get it through the um, when you access the information through the website, the archive website. And if you need, if there's specific information you're looking for, you can definitely um, reach out and we can help you walk through it. Can you download catalogs with data products from MAS2? Um, the catalog information, I don't think they have data products attached to them. Um, they're uh, it's the metadata from the catalogs. Um, yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, but um, again, you can, where is the slide? Please send, please send me, um, my email is C Adani, like my last name, and please send me an, an, an email and I, and I can get you more specific inf uh, information curious about whether Chelsea Lay has another data release in the plan. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's that'd be too too much insider. I, I'm not I'm not that much of an insider to know um, about their plans. Um, um, but is this the question you asked in the Slack channel? Yeah, it's the same thing, but I, I disconnected. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, um, I don't know, um, but I can try and find out. <laughs> yeah, if you know anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 